Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name is Richard and I'm coming to you today from Epcot, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, or, uh, you know, as everyone calls it, every person comes out trashed. Um, and I want to talk today about remote work, getting your work done from the parks. We're going to visit all four parks over this video, Epcot Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, and find out the best places for you to remotely work to, um, you know, to, to remotely connect. I've got my backpack that's got some batteries in it, that's got a laptop in it and everything like that. And, you know, while I come to the parks, it's nice that they do have very few, but uh, they have them, EV chargers. So I've got my truck plugged in right here into a charge point, and then there's a Tesla hanging out right here that's just at the EV charger, not even charging. <laughs> but what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we are going to explore all four of these Disney parks, maybe even some hotels and some things off the beaten path and figure out the best place to remote work while you vacation, maybe? So join me as we enter from the EV parking. We enter, which is better than handicap parking, but kind of hard to get. I had to get here about 45 minutes before the park opened, before the park opened to get this parking. But as we head in from the EV parking, to the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, or uh, every person comes out trashed. And we can see just where you can get some work done. You know, the Disney parks during your workation, staycation, I don't know what they go. Follow along. So something of note, if you are remote working, uh, you will, with a laptop, with some batteries, with some cables, you will get pulled aside by security. No need to worry, everything for remote work totally loud in the parks. Um, now the nice thing is we're at Epcot today. This is the monorail right here to the Magic Kingdom. You can take the monorail from the Epcot to the Magic Kingdom and not have to go through security again. Security is about a 15 to 20 minute process, so plan appropriately. If you are going on anywhere other than between Epcot and Magic Kingdom, you will have to clear security twice. So if you're going anywhere other than between there, you will have to clear security two times. Dos tiempos. Um, I do have a pass holder line here, which hopefully I can get in, but you will have to clear security twice. Be aware of that. Um, it is just about uh, 10 minutes, 12 minutes from park opening. So we're gonna go do some rides and then I'm gonna show you some places to kind of sit back, relax, and uh, get some work done. But yeah, you can bring laptops, you can bring batteries, you can bring all that. Just be aware that you're gonna get searched. So let's go to the first stop of our work from Disney Journey. Uh, this is currently known as Nemo and Friends in Epcot. Uh, it was formerly known as the Living Seas, Sea Base Alpha, whatever you want to call it. It's a nice open area, relatively quiet, and relatively music-free. Now, there used to be a lot more seating in here than there, uh, than there is now. It is about 9.30 in the morning. Uh, with it being 9.30 in the morning, you might want to check emails, respond to emails, stuff like that. Yeah, you can do any of that waiting in line. Now what I personally did is I booked a lightning lane on test track for about half an hour, 40 minutes from now. Uh, but you have these areas right here. They, they, again, they used to have some actual seating here, but uh, you can come up here. Look at the turtles. These are not screens. These are actual aquariums. Look at the turtles, look at stuff like that. And you do have, uh, well, not in here. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have it. Um, you generally have Wi-Fi in here. But the Wi-Fi does not seem to uh, extend all the way back here. So we need to go a little bit down the tunnel because this is fully covered in water. <laughs> and this is a nice place that you can actually remotely work. So let's just see how the Wi-Fi is real quick. We will connect to Disney Guest. Again, not a, not a bad view from the office. I am an annual pass holder myself, so a little bit easier to just kind of escape here. Let's let that load up. We're gonna do a speed test real quick. Doing it in real time. Oh yeah. You, you, you can get some work done from here. I mean, let's see, that's the uh, the download. Disney's done some great jobs improving their uh, connectivity lately. So that's the download. Let's see the upload. Yeah, yeah. I think that's uh. That's totally doable. Now here, you will kind of have to prop up against a wall 
or something like that, or I think, think, think there might be some seating inside the uh, Turtle Talk entrance. Let's just let's go in real quick and see. So this is Turtle Talk with Crush. Is there some seating here? Yeah. No, there's not. So there's not actually uh, any seating in this pavilion, but I mean the Wi-Fi. Oh, sorry. The Wi-Fi is actually not just good. The Wi-Fi is freaking amazing. I mean, we'll do it one more try. But yeah, you're going to be here at least, you know, leaning against the wall. But again, we're walking around. Great connectivity. Great place to kind of remote work from if you wanted to. Seabase Alpha, Nemo and Friends, the Living Seas, whatever you want to call it. But now I've gotten some work done. And uh, my test track lightning lane is available. So I'm going to go over and use that. Again, this is not a traditional Disney vlog. I'm not taking you on test track. But uh, I, got, I got a lot more remote work locations in mind for Epcot. Stay tuned. So on our way over to test track, uh, we're going to Project Tomorrow, which is actually the exit of the big ball. Epcot is uh, everything's potentially under construction. No, I don't EP. Everything's potentially construction or trashed yeah i think that's the new uh the new epcot everything's potentially construction or trashed uh this is the exit to the big ball attraction and uh we're gonna see this is a nice quiet place as well there technically is some seating here you'll see just just talking technically there's a there's a bit of seating here i think it's uh meant to be used while you're doing these things that are here but uh oh no there's no oh, wow no, there's actual seating here. This is a, an actual seat, but seating means nothing if the Wi-Fi is trash. So, let's answer our question. Is the Wi-Fi trash? 9.37 a.m. on the way to test track. Uh-oh. <laughs> the Wi-Fi's not only trash, let me try and reconnect. It's showing that there's not Wi-Fi in here. Ooh. Ooh, that's a rough one. I'm show I'm gonna show all these areas regardless. Or irregardless, or whatever they like to say, but the Wi-Fi just literally falls off in this building for some reason. It's the first place we found that actually has good seats. But the Wi-Fi, and I'm using an iPhone 15 Pro Max. The Wi-Fi is just non-existent, or there's just another network. Let's see. This is the internet TWDC, but I think this is actually, yeah, this is their corporate internet. Um, we don't have Wi-Fi in here. It's a perfect place. It's got seats, it's got air conditioning and everything, but there's no Wi-Fi in here. No public Wi-Fi in this building for some ungodly reason. So not a good option. All right, so we are at the exit of Test Track, also known as a car showroom in the middle of a theme park for no reason. There is plenty of seating. The background noise is not that bad. Uh, there's nothing like copywritten or anything like that. It literally just sounds a little, little futuristic. Let's see how the Wi-Fi is. Again, there's no plugs here. Uh, so you would need to bring like a USB-C battery pack or something like that, but um, or, you know, laptops are lasting longer and longer every day now. I just use my laptop very, very hard when I use it. Let's see. Yeah. A cell phone service, though, is non-existent. But your Wi-Fi calling will work perfectly fine. Uh, we're on a 104 by 132. Again, plenty of seating. There we go. 104 by 127. Stronger upload than download, which is impressive. But you'll see we've got nice seating right here. A lot of nice seating not too loud not any crazy noises it's a good place you know if you wanted to let's just talk theory real quick i mean if you wanted to right here just go into your bag grab your uh, grab your laptop out and connect it's just uh what time is it now it is a uh, 10 10 13. uh we got our next lightning lane in about 20 minutes or so but um 
good place to stop, good Wi-Fi, and we've got another place next door. I don't like the ride, but I want to check out the connection to the seating. And honestly, when I go to Epcot, the next place I'm going to show you is where I actually got to go. Because I good, got good AC connectivity and everything. So let's go to space. So here is my least uh, favorite ride on Disney property. It's called the uh, Claustrophobia Express of Mission Space. The good news is um, there's a really good place to remote work that's right in the exit of it. So you kind of go counterintuitive to the flow of people, enter through the gift shop. I know, that's so different than exit through the gift shop. You enter through the gift shop, and there's this whole interactive area here. But what's nice is there's seats, and there's good Wi-Fi. And look, if you hear a little bit of this music in the background, you might be able to hear it in my mic. You may not. Uh, if you got to do Zoom calls and stuff, bring a mic. But there is so much seating here. Now, you will have a little bit of this uh, background noise here. But, you know, if you've got to be on a Zoom call, maybe we've not found a perfect place. Actually, the Living Seas is a pretty perfect place for a Zoom call. But this is relatively quiet, good seating and everything like that. And let's see how the Wi-Fi is. Again, we're doing this on a 15 Pro Max. Okay. We've had better Wi-Fi other places. We have uh, reasonably full bars, but you see you've got all this seating right here. A little clanky clanky in the background. But you've got further away, right over here. You've got some spots. Yeah, this is not great Wi-Fi compared to some of the other places that we've been. But, you know, you come to the right place. It's relatively quiet. Let's just see. Well, we went on 5G. We're trying to go on Wi-Fi. Let's love you a second. I will tell you what I'm using right now, just so you can understand. I'm using a tiny little microphone from DJI that comes along with my camera. So, uh, just for fun in here, because this has some interesting noises. I'm gonna turn it off. And it's probably the loudest of the environment so far. So now you're hearing me directly through the microphone on the camera. Uh, let's try the Wi-Fi again. The Wi-Fi is actually uh, not great here on my phone. It's pretty reasonable last time I did it on my laptop. It's about a 10 by 10 by 10 connection. Nothing like the 100 by 100 we had at the last spot. But I'm leaving this uh, audio on just for right now so you can hear what it sounds like in here. And we've gone a little bit further towards the gift shop. Uh, yeah, that, that's, got a, that's got a bit of theme music, but I leave this so you can kind of hear it. Let's just try real quick. One more speed test here. It does not want to get an IP address in this building. Oh, very interesting. Last time I was here, this was my, uh, this was my go-to place. Now, the cellular's still pretty okay. Oh, there we go. There's Wi-Fi. Yeah, it must have just been that one bad spot. Looks pretty good overall. And again, I, I don't have a microphone anymore. So I don't know uh, how you're hearing me right now, but uh, the exit to Mission Space is a, another cool place you can remote work. Uh, we're gonna head back to the back of the park now and take a look at some of the countries and stuff like that. See where you can remote work there. Stick around. All right, and for our next place for remote work, we've actually got the exit to Journey to Your Imagination Figment, whatever you wanna call it. Um, they've got a couple benches here. It's relatively quiet in this corner. If you need to take a Zoom call, Something like that. This seems to be the place. Um, got good internet. We're running it right now. Let's see? 57 by 113. Yeah, it's doable. Um, there, there's only one negative. So you see, so you got right here, right here. It's really nice and quiet. I'd have to say, honestly, this is the quietest of the places so far uh, that I've been to. The only negative is there's an abomination that you have to look at. You might say, what abomination is what you're talking about? There's this thing. It is pure, pure nightmare fuel. It's like they thought they could reimagine Figment and turn him into nightmare fuel. There he is. That's the nightmare, nightmare fuel Figment. If you don't know where nightmare fuel is, I'm oh, sorry. If you don't know where nightmare fuel is, that right there, Figment, that, is nightmare fuel. But again, right as you're leaving the Figment attraction, or you can just come in that door, you'll see that door back there, 
You've got uh, some benches, and you've got nice peace and quiet here, to be honest with you. Uh, and you know, this would be the greatest place. Let me sit down for a minute. You can take a Zoom call right here. This is the most neutral, simple place I've seen so far. I don't see anything that would kind of give away what this was. It just looks like a background somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm gonna say so far in this park, we got good Wi-Fi, neutral background, relative quietness. It's probably the winner so far, if you need to get something done. And they got a gift shop right here with drinks and candy and all that, if you have to keep the kids entertained. Uh, but uh, we've done a lot of the future world. I think we're gonna head back to World Showcase now, but we're gonna probably grab lunch uh, in the meantime. So. Uh, I'll catch you when we're at the back of the park. But in the front of the park, you've seen all the places so far that uh, good work from home spots uh, in Epcot. All right, so for your next kind of uh, work from the theme park in Epcot, you might as well uh, get some work done from space. You know, it, it is kind of hard to get a reservation here for a table. We happened to get one yesterday, but you can always walk in and go to the lounge here. Uh, and yeah, there's, there's a whole room for you to... I don't really want to open my laptop on camera because you never know what's going to show up. Okay, just a Google screen, thank God. I don't want to talk about what was there before. Um, but you know, you've got room to sprawl out your laptop and yes, they have a full cocktail menu that done, that done disappeared. I know she took it. It was a cool menu. Here, I can look it up. Let's find beverages. So this one has boba in it. It's called Illumination! Bacardi, Malibu, passion fruit, blood orange, pineapple, lime sour, and passion fruit boba. Uh, let's just do a quick uh, internet speed test. I'm gonna boot my laptop up and see how we're doing. But uh, from space, uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty good speed from space. It's nice and quiet here, so if you wanna have a nice working lunch, this is a good place. You'll see your uh, download is pretty good. I don't know how they're getting this uplink all the way in space. It's not real. Space Force. Space Force, yeah. Uh, and upload's good too. And yeah, you can get this on uh, phones, laptops, stuff of the sort. And they have food and drinks. And look, oh, look how cute. It's their, it's, their fir it's their first time in space. It's cute. But yeah, you can get your whole setup with your laptop and all that going. There aren't plugs here. This is something I did not show you yet. Uh, I use these big anchor battery packs which are nice. Uh, they've got USB-C on them, and I can charge my laptop, my phone, everything. It'll last all day. Great place to kind of get some work done. So some could say it's out of this world. So let's talk about another quiet place to work from at Epcot. I know it's been a few hours, uh, but I want to talk about another quiet place to work from at Epcot. This is the American Adventure Pavilion. There is plenty of seating. There's actually a show that happens here called the American Adventure that I'm gonna go see right now. But it does have quite a good internet speed overall. So let's see where we're at. You've got benches, you've got benches against the wall, you've got everything like that. For some reason, for some reason I'm connected to cellular. Let me, uh, let me airplane myself real quick. Cause I wanna show you the actual speed. We do need to go up cause we're literally uh, a couple seconds from the start of the American Adventure. And this might not be the best bet. Because again, much like the last place we were in, we guessed Wi-Fi seems to uh, kind of fall off. Um, there's no guest Wi-Fi. So even though it might seem like a nice place to sit and remote work, unless you've got your uh, cellular data going, it's probably not. There we go. Guess that. Disney guess. Let's see. Stick with me. <laughs> Speed test. We're trying. It's thinking. And at the same time, it's like, nope. Yeah, there's, there's a whole thing. No, no, no. There's a connection here. I'm on airplane mode. For some reason, it's connected. There we go. Reasonable connection downstairs on the first floor. There's a whole bunch of seats that you can definitely sit in. But um, this is an absolutely great place to go ahead right downstairs and remote work. I will let you know before the show 
they do have some singers. So if you are a, on a Zoom call or something and you go to one of the earlier shows in the day, you may want to watch out for the singers. But um, overall, say pretty, let's see, reasonable. Oh, oh God. Yeah, the Wi-Fi keeps going up and down. I'm going to say uh, no. It's remote work for me here. Just saying. So we might find another place in the back of Epcot that you can remote work from. But every place we've been so far, it's actually in the front side of Epcot. 